Hello, good evening. Hello, good night, everyone. How are you today? Everything good. Nice. Welcome to the English class. We are going to wait just a few minutes to check if everybody will be back. Okay. Thanks, teacher Eric. Okay. Today, I, I don't have a problem to join the class. Today? I, I don't have I don't have problem to join to the class. Okay, that was good. Welcome to the class. Yeah. <laughs> good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the English class of this uh, beautiful Monday with a lot of wind. Thank you. We're just waiting for the rest of the class to come into the class. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Mm, great. Nice, nice. Okay, um, so welcome everybody. How is everything going? Uh, how was your weekend? Was it good? Did you rest? Good evening. <laughs> uh, very good. Good evening. Welcome to the English class. Nice that it was very good. So how is going with the platform? Uh, have you moved on? Have you finished some parts of the platform? Is there any problem, any comment, anything that you would like to comment about that one? I finished my middle term exam. Oh, okay. Very well. And That's I start nice. in the, the topic, the simple past and present perfect. Very well. Ah, That's good. That is a very interesting topic that we're going to check into. It's very, very nice. Okay, so we are going to continue. Uh, what do you remember of our last class? We practiced um, the past specific time. I remember Sim that uh, we um, made um, a story. Yeah, we made a story. Also, we were practicing in couples, so we were talking a little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice. So we are going to start with a new topic today. Uh, this is very easy. Very, very easy. And um, I'm going to show you here. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this is used to. I guess you check on that on the platform. So I uh, used to or be used to or get used to. That is, well, kind of similar but not the same. So we're going to use uh, this word used to plus the infinitive. We use the structure just to do something when we talk about something we did regularly in the past. But do not do it now. Do you understand this part? Yes, but in the platform, is it, it was only about 
the used to, not be used to or get used, get used to? That's why we are here because we are going to go, we are going to learn more, okay? So yes, the first one is the one that is in the platform. So you can, we're going to use uh, only used to when you are talking about a change, right? You did something in the past, but now you don't do it anymore. Or the opposite. You didn't do something in the past, but now you do it. So for example, uh, there it says, he used to go to our school. That means that that is not happening anymore, right? The other example says, she used to be overweight, but became she model last year. So that is good. Do you know what is overweight? Do you remember? Mm. Overweight is when you more weight or your weight is too high. Yeah, when the weight is too high, when uh, you are the opposite of thing, right? So uh, that is like being overweight. So when you are like, you need to go on a diet, for example. Sobrepeso. Okay, so the first one, do you have any question with the first part? I used to, I used to eat a lot. I used to uh, walk in the park. And the negative is going to be, I didn't. I didn't used to drink coffee. That means that I didn't do that before and now I do it, right? Questions? Okay, this is, okay. So this is kind of new, it's different. It says be used to, so that is the verb to be, plus a noun, pronoun, or a gerund. So, when you say be used to, it's used to express that a situation is not new or strange, or is no longer new or strange. You have experienced it many times. So, for example, when you say he is used to swimming every day. Do you understand this part? Or the other one, it says, I am not used to getting up early. I don't know if this part is clear. This is a kind of different from the first part. Esto no está en la plataforma, pero pues a mí me gusta siempre traer cosas extra, ¿verdad? And this is something interesting that we use. Um, we can use it for height, for example. I'm sorry, uh, but I, I can barely hear you. Could you please repeat? Uh, okay. Um, I, I understand that we use to, we can use it when... I don't know, we, we, can, we want to mention some habits, for example, or things that happen regularly. Okay. It's like estar acostumbrado, or something like that. Este sí, este es estar acostumbrado. Entonces, por ejemplo, acá donde dice, he is used to swimming every day, sería como, él está acostumbrado a nadar todos los días. That is it. That is different than the other one. In this one, in the first one, is a change. A change of an habit. So here, he used to go to our school. As él solía ir a nuestra escuela. But in the second one, is something that uh, the experience is not new. It's something that you do. And that is like an habit regularly right now. Okay? So that is the difference between the first and the second one. But then we come to the third one. It says, get used to, plus a noun, pronoun, or gerund. Get used to is used to express that an action or situation becomes less strange or new, or becomes more comfortable. So this is like in the middle, you know? So for example, it says, Staff will have to get used to 
a new way of working. Ellos you, tienen que acostumbrarse a una nueva manera de trabajar. Se tiene que acostumbrar, ¿verdad? Get used to is something like that. Tiene que ir adaptándose, acostumbrando. So the other one says, I could not get used to driving on the wrong side of the street. That is very common, actually. I mean, if you go, for example, to England, in England you drive in the other side, right? So, somebody could say this. I could not get used to driving on the wrong side of the street. No podría acostumbrarme. So, as you see here, uh, we can use used to with the verb to be with models like will, cool, can, and any other thing. It's possible to do that one. Okay? Do you have any question about this? Si hay preguntas, pregunte. Este es el momento. Hable ahora o calle para siempre. If the pronunciation is, is the same in the present, uh, in the past, or... Hey, no, it's not the same. Uh, when you just say that in present, let me see if I have an example here. Uh, no, we don't have any. Uh, use. In present is use. And in past is be used. It's like a D, used. That is the only difference. Okay. You're welcome. Any other question? About this? Piece of cake. Very easy. Okay, let's move on. We are going to sure. practice. Sure. Go ahead. I have a question. In all the sentences, we need to write ED. Always. No, no, not necessarily. That depends on what you want to say. Um, but the most common is a change. Eh, casi todas van como el pasado porque casi todas hablan de un cambio o algo que está sucediendo. Quizá en la última parte, esta parte es un poquito más avanzada que las otras dos. Porque aquí lleva el verbo to be y lleva el AED. Esto es una voz que se llama la voz pasiva, que es muy común. Y que no es difícil, lo único que se ve al final, porque es donde vemos todos los tiempos juntos y revueltos con el verbo to be. Eh, si ustedes recuerdan, yo les decía antes ¿verdad? que no se puede utilizar el verbo to be con otro verbo y cosas por el estilo. Ahí en la voz pasiva sí se puede. Igual en, el, en, el, en español es idéntico. Cuando dice, él está acostumbrado, lleva dos verbos, está, que es el verbo to be, acostumbrado. En pasado participio, que es por ahí para donde vamos ahorita, ¿verdad? Que es el presente perfecto. Entonces, eh, pero casi siempre en este tipo de situaciones se ocupa en pasado porque estamos denotando un cambio. O estamos denotando algo que se ha ido transformando o que ya está acostumbrado a hacer. Entonces, por eso se utiliza más que todo así. Pero de que se puede usar en presente, se puede también. That is not a problem. Uh, teacher, I have a question. Go ahead, please. And in this case, uh, we can ask, for example, did he used to swimming every day? Or how we can uh, do the, a question? That's a very good question. We are going to check all of those. So for the first one, he used to go to a school. That in a question, it should be in a regular word. Did, as you say. Did he use, in present, did he use to go to our school? And in the negative, it's going to be the same. He didn't. He didn't use to go to our school. It's normal as the simple past, but this is not simple past. This is something oh, different. Okay. Uh, entonces, en pregunta, ya, ya no le pondríamos el verbo to be en presente. Lo que pasa es que son tres situaciones diferentes. Ahorita yo le estaba diciendo el primero. Ajá, ajá, y en la, en la segunda. Ya, le vamos a llegar ahí. Ok. That is a good question. Por eso me regresé para verlas todas. Igual en la negativa, ¿verdad? Como les decía. She didn't used to, o did she used to. 
that is it. Now for the next one, for the second one, uh, be used to. Here in this one, uh, for the negative is going to be he isn't. He isn't used. Ahí se queda en pasado. He isn't used to swimming every day. O sea, lo que lo va a hacer negativo ahí va a ser el verbo to be. Lo demás is not going to change. Si fuera pregunta, también es en función del verbo to be. Es el verbo to be el que vamos a mover. Is he used to swimming every day? Quizás, eh, bueno, no sé si se han confundido, quizás traje algo muy, muy avanzado. ¿verdad? Pero es sencillo, la verdad. La voz pasiva es como el, el presente. Y lo traigo, lo traigo porque a veces puede ser que, que lo encuentren más adelante y de repente empecemos a pensar, bueno, ¿y este por qué lleva el verbo to be, verdad? ¡Qué raro! La verdad es que es sencillo. Solo se llama voz pasiva porque lleva los dos verbos, verbo to be y el Verbo. Ahora, en la voz pasiva, quizás eso es lo que, por eso lo vamos a ver más adelante, porque cuando estamos más avanzados, en la voz pasiva podemos utilizar una infinidad. O sea, allí el verbo to be también va a ir cambiando, pero no lo vamos a meter en eso, porque es suficiente con lo que trajimos. Entonces, en el segundo y en el tercero, que son voz pasiva, uh, bueno, el segundo siempre va a cambiar el verbo to be, a negativo o pregunta. Is he used to swimming every day? O, he isn't used to swimming every day. And the second one is going to be, I am, ah, bueno, ahí está negativa, I am not. Si se dan cuenta, el not va unido con el am. El just queda igual, no cambia. Y si lo hice la pregunta, am I used to getting up early? Cambia el verbo to be. ¿Ok? Ok. En la otra parte, en este, en el último, uh, aquí va a cambiar en función de get. So, for example, staff uh, will have to get used to a new way of working. A ver, aquí quizás una de las, bueno, acá, acá abajo creo que está la respuesta. Mira, aquí está en negativo el cool, el modal. Este es el que está negativo. Entonces aquí arriba, si vemos la estructura y es la misma estructura, igual lo que nos va a ser negativo va a ser el modal, will. Entonces aquí, si yo quiero transformar este en negativo, va a ser staff won't o will not. Y lo demás queda igual. Esto se llaman cláusulas. Las cláusulas son como van varias cosas al mismo tiempo, ¿verdad? Es un poquito más avanzado, pero no es la gran cosa. Es cosa son cosas que ya han visto y que lo único que vamos haciendo es poniéndolas juntas. Las vamos agregando para hacer estructuras un poquito más complejas, pero no son difíciles. Quizás lo importante aquí es identificar eso, qué es lo que sí va a denotar el tiempo, de qué estoy hablando. Lo demás va a quedar igual acá, pero aquí estoy hablando de futuro. Y aquí estoy hablando de una posibilidad. Entonces, cuando ustedes vean una eh, como esta, siempre va a ser el modal, el si lleva un modal, el que va a cambiar la estructura en sí o la esencia de la oración. Podría ser en este caso, pues, will, can, cool, uh, might, may, todos los modals que a ustedes se les ocurra. No sé si queda claro. The second is like a conditional. No, no, porque el conditional lleva un if y o lleva whether. El conditional también es una cláusula, que creo que la vamos a ver en este módulo, si mal no recuerdo. En el conditional lo que pasa es que tengo, por eso se llama conditional, de una condición. Para que esto pase, tiene que pasar esto. Igual que en español, si estudias, vas a pasar inglés. Si la condición para que pase inglés es que estudie. Ah, por eso se llama condicional. Esto es eh, lo que está acá en el segundo, es It's como la posibilidad. I'm sorry? It's like a possibility. Sí, a en el, ajá. Y, pero también en las condicionales hay diferentes niveles, que también lo vamos a ver cuando llegamos. ¿verdad? Hay diferentes tipos de 
y también allí en el condicional, por eso se ven ya después, ¿verdad? Porque en el condicional, ese puede ser futuro, puede ser pasado, puede ser eh, que podría pasar, que es casi seguro que pase, ¿verdad? ¿Y cómo lo vamos a denotar o cómo vamos a saber en el condicional? Dependiendo de el modal que lleve, de la situación. Incluso pues hay uno que es bastante común, eh, que se llama direct speech en indirect speech, que es... Sí, es, es como algo que, que no va a pasar, pero yo quisiera hablar. Como cuando yo digo, por ejemplo, si tuviera un millón de dólares, me fuera para las Bahamas. Pero eso es algo que, que no porque no lo tengo, ¿verdad? Entonces, hasta a, ahí vamos a ir llegando los conos condicionales. Esto es simplemente es una voz pasiva que sí se ve un poquito más adelante de los condicionales. Eh, Must is similar. Must is like obligation. You must do something. It's a modal. Los modals son por ahí por will, may, can, might, must. Uh, todos esos son modal que le dan un refuerzo al verbo o que lo cambian, lo transforman. Eso sería como un modal. Ok. Thank you. Está interesante la clase porque hemos hablado de muchas cosas que que ni siquiera está en este módulo, ¿verdad? pero sí, el asunto es aprender, y quizás uno de los retos que podríamos llegar a tener es empezar a leer cosas un poquito más avanzadas, ¿verdad? Y, ¿qué les puedo decir? Hay revistas, revistas de algo que les interese, música, li, eh, de, quizás literatura todavía no, porque hay literatura que es bien compleja, en vez de cambio, una revista, un artículo, noticias. Las noticias también tienen situaciones complejas. Si ustedes, por ejemplo, empiezan a leer una noticia de finanzas, van a encontrar mucho vocabulario, eh, dependiendo del tema, pues, que es un poco más complejo y que hay, que hay que entender no solo lo que significa la palabra, sino el concepto, ¿verdad? Más allá de todo eso. Pero para allá es para donde vamos. More technical. Entonces, a more technical words. Entonces, lo que yo le sugiero también es empezar a leer, no tan avanzado, pero tampoco tan básico. Algo, una revista, como les digo, un blog, hay blogs de viajes, algo así sería interesante, que lleva mucho de esto. Por ejemplo, en un blog de viaje van a encontrar situaciones como, se solía tener dos piscinas, pero ahora se tiene una. Ese sería used to. The hotel used to have two pools. Now they built a big one. Something like that. Okay, any questions about this? El used to. Everything. Este... Okay, hello, Oli, how are you? <laughs> Where are you? Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the English class. <laughs> okay, so, um, sí, es, uh, miren, no es difícil. Simplemente hay que entenderlo. Igual que cuando, si ustedes se acuerdan ahí el presente simple, ¿verdad? Que les decía uno la S, la S, y ya cuando hablábamos se nos olvidaba. Así es todo esto. Vamos agregándole un poquito más, como la matemática. Ok. If you don't have a question, we are going to move on to a practice. Let's see here. Okay, can you see there the the exercise? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. How is going to be number one? Todos son con el used to el, el simple, ¿verdad? El que está en la plataforma. So how is going to be the first one? I used to. I used to listen to music when I was a child. Good. I used to listen to music when I was a child. That is a change. It's simple. It's a change that happened. Uh, the second one, how's it gonna be? We used to. We used to. The cinema at we weekends. Cinema at weekends. Okay, so que ahí le falta el verbo, ¿verdad? We used to go. go. We used to go. Very good. We can say we used go. to go to cinema at weekends. All at the weekends. Okay, what is going to be the next one? They used to live used to in the live. country, but now they live in the city. 
Very good. Used to live in the country. You can say also countryside. But now they live in the city. Uh, I'm sorry? Well, it was not for me. Number, well, not number, but the next one. Uh, how is it going to be the next one? Used to prepare. I used to eat the cake. A ver, es interesante. Analicemos. ¿Cómo será esta cosa? Ajá, ¿cómo será? ¿En el yes. día? Ajá. I think the the sentences is in the past. That is correct. I mean, in this one, since it says here uh, last I week. Ate, I ate the cake you made me last week. That is correct. I ate the cake you made me last week. Ahí no está denotando un cambio. Por eso tenemos que entender cuándo se utiliza o cuándo va a cierta situación. Porque se puede presentar una situación como esta, que no, no pegue con lo que estamos diciendo. Si yo de repente digo, I used to eat the cake you made me last week, mm. solía comerme el pastel que me diste la semana, la semana pasada. It's not possible. That is not possible. So in this case, it's I ate. The action is finished. And it's just one time. I ate the cake you made me last week. Good, good. Nice. So, how is going to be the next one? She used to have long hair when you were young. Mm -hmm. Very good. Long hair. Did you used to have long hair when you were younger? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to have long hair, you know, until I don't know, remember. That was crazy. <laughs> Anyways, well, how is going to be the next one? She used to be very tall when she was in school. Very good. She used to be very tall when she was in school. Nice. She was pretty. She was. She was. Uh, she used to. She used to be very tall when she was in school. How is going to be the next one? I used to. I used, I used to go to bed very late on Fridays, on Fridays and, Saturdays. and Saturdays. And Saturdays. Yeah, I believe everybody, right? When you were like 15, 16 oh, wow. years old, we used okay. to go to bed very late on Fridays and Saturdays. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, who's going to be the next one? Brother used to play in a band. Robert used to play in a band. Yeah, you can do that one. Yeah. Robert used to play in a band. And the last one. I, I broke my right, right arm in a fighting accident when I was 21. Very good. That is simple pass as well. I broke my right okay. arm in a skiing accident when I was 21. Since the action finished, this is simply past. It's not used to, okay? Good, you got Peter, it. What is the, what is the skiing accident? Uh, skiing is when you are in the snow and you are skiing. Uh -huh. So the thing is that the, the yeah. verb is ski and you are ing, so it's skiing. That is it. Thank you. You're welcome. Any Thanks. other question? No questions. En este les traje ahí un, un pequeño truco, ¿verdad? Pero me gusta que sí agarraron ahí la pila. Nice. <laughs> let's continue. Uh, let's see here. Okay, who's going to be the first one? 
I, I did used to go to the beach every day. I used to go to the beach every day. I used to go to the beach every day. Nice. And the next one? I didn't, I didn't used, used to use play, tennis. play tennis. I didn't used to play tennis. The next one? Susan used to drink, used to drink, used to drink milk, milk when, when she, she was young. Susan used to drink milk when she was young. And the next one? I didn't use to watch television. television. I, I didn't used to watch television. The next one? What did you what use, did you what use did to wear at the school? At the school. Very good. What did you use to wear at school? And the next one? Did they did use they to wear on horse? Okay. And the next one? Yeah. People wow. used to People travel on horses. used to travel on horses. That is so true. <laughs> the next one. There used to be there used my, to best be my best friend, but he lives in Canada. No. Very good. Ted used to be my best friend, but he lives in Canada now. And the next one? We used to play marbles. But it's marbles. We used to play marbles. Do you know what are marbles? I don't know. A little ball. A little ball, yeah, that you play with a finger, right? That is it. Yeah. Those are the marbles. Very nice, that. <laughs> okay, who is going to be the next one? My mother, my mother used, used to, mother used to, used to work work for me, me but right now my wife, my wife puts at home. home. Perfect, good. Who's going to be the next one? I used, I used to work at 9 o'clock. Very nice. The next one? We didn't use to swim in the river. Very good. We didn't use to swim in the river. Remember that the pronunciation is didn't. And the last one. Pele used to play football in Brazil. Pele used to play football or soccer in Brazil. Nice, nice. Questions? Very good. That is good, good. Uh, we're going to check the platform. Let me just check just to see if you have done the exercise. Everybody is working in the platform, right? Yes. Nice. And uh, let me just share here with you. Okay. So this is uh, the knowledge check that we should be going through. Um, do you have any question with this one? This is simple past tense. Did Jerry have a hobby? Let me think if there is something we can analyze here. No problems with the one. Everything is done, right? Yes. Very well. Then after this one, uh, we have uh, well the topic that we are discussing right now. Uh, let's see. Roger, could you please help me reading this one? Okay. Build English conver conversion channel is skill with the with the phrase used to which uh, you can use to describe your childhood or past. By the end of this class, you will be able to form question, statement, negative, and short answer with used to learn English first. Like what sport did you did you use to play when you were a kid? Did you use to call it thing when you were a child and what you used to do for fun when you were a kid. Very good. So this is exactly where we are right now. So build English conversational skills with the phrase used to, which you can use to describe your childhood or past. So as we were discussing, this is for changes, right? Some things that you used to do, but now you don't do anymore. This is it. And um, Let's see. There are some questions that are pretty easy, those ones. And uh, then we have the knowledge check. 
uh, that is to correct. Do you worry about money? Sometimes, right? Sometimes life is difficult. Politics. What is a politic? Do you know what is that? It's one, it's number one, did you use the following politics years? Okay, that is good. So the question is, what is politics? Yes. You know? What is that? Explain me in English. I don't know what is, what means. Does Maybe anybody know? Politics? Or for this, for, for I, 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 I will know. try. Okay. It's, it's when people uh, discuss a topic for the social or something like that. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, politics is like, um, well, for example, uh, at the end of this month, in, in one month exactly, we're going to go and vote, right? And some people are discussing, uh, this is better, this is not good, the things that the government is doing is not good, uh, that is politics, right? And uh, we have politicians into that, that are the people that are involved in politics. Is that clear? It's very similar to Spanish, yes. actually. Thanks. Okay. And it's not the same as policy. What is a policy? Do you know what a policy is? Político. De hecho, político o política es este, politics. Y político de persona sería politician. But the question the now is... Política. O sea, este politics que estamos viendo en la pantalla, ese sí es de los partidos por los que uno okay. vota. Y las personas se llaman politicians. Politician, okay. But there is another word that comes to my mind that is policy. What is policy? Política. Política. Uh -huh. It's like a norm or some thing, uh, like a rule. It's Maybe. like a rule, yeah. You have to follow in some, uh, in some company or, or in a school maybe or something. That is it. Perfect. That is. It. I will explain that in Spanish so it's uh, clearer. Una política. Policy es también política, pero es una política como cuando le dicen en claro, mire, no se lo puedo cambiar porque ya pasaron 60 días. ¿verdad? Ya, eso va en contra de la política. Pero es política interna. Policy. So there are words in English that are similar, but not the same. Politics and policy is not the same. In Spanish it's the same word, but it's not the same either. Okay, questions about that? Okay, here we have, we don't have more new words here. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to stop here. And we're going to, let's see how many are we. Okay, now we're going to do this. We're going to interview a classmate, okay? We're going to work in pairs. This time, I want you to do it without writing anything. I mean, without writing the questions before you go and interview. Just think about the changes that you can ask. I mean, you can ask, for example, did you used to live in the same city all your life? Uh, did, you, did you used to have or drink coffee when you were a kid? Many things. When you are in pairs, you can write the answers so you can come in front and tell the information. But we're going to try to do this uh, like in a normal way, like a conversation, okay? Do you have any questions about the activity? It's clear. Okay, so let's work, my friend. Let's see how many are we. Maybe one is going to be with me, or maybe there is going to be a group of three. Let's see how it goes.
<clears throat> okay, there we go. Hello. 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 Hey, Hi. Hi, sir. How are you today? Very good. And what about you? I'm very well as well. So thank you for asking. And uh, okay, you are going to work with okay. me because there were not enough students. But you can ask me whatever you want, and I I can ask you if you want. Okay. Okay, nice. That sounds great. Uh, tell me, uh, did you used to play Arranca Cebolla when you were a child? <laughs> yeah, I remember I used to play that one. Not that common, but yes, I used to play that one. <laughs> uh, me good. too. Yeah, it's good, right? <laughs> I didn't remember that. Okay. Yes. Now you ask me something. Oh, let's see. Um... What did you used to do uh, when your mom was angry with you? Uh, oof, I, I used to uh, try to understand what I did bad. <laughs> okay. Yes, and I used to try to correct by myself and by the because she was angry, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, very well. Thank you. And <laughs> uh, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, let me see. Uh, what did you used to do when you, when you didn't um, do your homework and the teacher asked you for the homework? Okay, um, I used to, in the moment, try to try to explain uh, the solution. Uh, that depends on the homework. But if, for example, it was uh, math, uh, and the teacher asked me, I tried to, in my mind, try to solve the problem and provide the solution. And if it was correct, everything was fine. And if it was not correct, they uh, were angry at me or something like that but I try to solve it in the in the very moment I never did excuses but just try to solve it then <laughs> all right good <laughs> let me think um did you used to did you used to eat onion and chili pepper when you were a kid teacher teacher sorry about uh I am having a very bad connection. Uh, can you hear me very well? Sure. I can't hear yeah. you. Right I couldn't hear your. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Right now, yes, I can hear you. Okay, Perfectly. I will repeat the question. Um, did you used to eat onion and chili pepper in your food uh, when you were a kid, when you were 10 years old? Um, no, I didn't used to eat onion and chili pepper when I was 10 years old, but now it's something that I do because I, I don't know, but now I like it. <laughs> yeah, we changed a lot, right? I remember that I didn't used to eat that. I hated that. But now I go to the supermarket and purchase all the chilies and I, I'm very happy on that. <laughs> Yes, but, but there is something that I will never uh, eat in the future because I really don't like it. And it is pacaya. Have you ever tried it? Yeah, I have tried pacaya. It's not my favorite, but I like it. So you don't like that? Do you like it? 
Yes, I know why. <laughs> it's, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, sometimes that happens. Sometimes there are some foods that you, your body doesn't need, right? So you reject mm -hmm. that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now you can ask. Okay, let me see. Um, where place did you used to visit when you were a child in, in vacation? Well, when I was a kid, probably we used to go to the beach, um, to the park, to um, mostly the beach. Maybe I guess that was the most, uh, the place that we were uh, visiting when we were as a family and I was a kid. Um, rivers, I remember some rivers that we went to. Those are probably the... Ah, okay. The, what about you? Rivers is very cool. Yes, I remember that we used to go to rivers too with my uh, uncle and some cousins and it was very good. And now I have a question for you. Uh, have you ever been in another country whose mother tongue is English? Um, let me think. Actually, no. I was, you know, I was in Germany speaking English, but I, I can speak German. Um, but I never went to a country that the native language is English. I went to other countries that is like Spanish or any other language, but never English. Okay, but but you but have you ever talked with um, North American people or England people? Yeah, definitely a lot. I have spoken. Actually, I do it in my in my job. You know, I I like to teach, but this is not my job. My job, I work for Google, and then in Google we speak every day with people uh, in the United States and things like that. That's cool. So yeah, and. How do you work in Google? You worked in you work in a call center. It's something like that. It's very similar. I mean, we, there are some projects that we are assigned, and we check some companies, and then we decide uh, which department is going to be in charge of the project, so they can develop technologies, software applications, things like that. Um, it's very interesting. Very good. Yes, that sounds very very cool. Yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> and, and, and how was your experience the first time you spoke with a uh, native speaker English? Oh, I was nervous, you know. Um, I, I didn't have the level that I have right now of English. I was um, confident that I could speak. But the first time, I, it was going to be a presentation in my job. I was just to work in a factory. And uh, they told me, you are going to present this because you can't speak English. And I said, wow. So I did it, but I was very, very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I, my, I, for, me, for me, it's very difficult uh, to understand native speakers. I don't know why, but I think they speak very fast. That is true. The problem is that, for example, if you see where, when I'm speaking, I try to to speak well so you understand, but they don't care. Yes. They just speak like very fast and they don't know, and they speak like that. So yeah, it's true. My best advice for you is to watch videos, news and things like that and try to pay attention. And little by little, you are going to understand better. Okay, thank you. It's a pleasure. <laughs> okay, I mm -hmm. guess we're gonna uh, go back because we are running out of time. Okay. Okay, see you outside here. See you.
Okay, so how was the experience? <laughs> it was very difficult for me. Okay. But I can I can talk very well. Okay, very but well. I feel right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, what, what we need to do is just to practice a little bit more and pay attention. Uh -huh. Sometimes we need to listen to ourselves when we're talking so um, everything goes well. So... It uh, was I, interesting for me because I can know more uh, uh, the Rigoberto. Okay. I, sp I spoke with Rigoberto and I know um, something about him. Good. That is the good thing about this More kind things. of grammar and language that you are able to, to get to know people, you know. It's like, uh, it's very good. That's what I told you not to uh, write questions. It's just go and get to know each other. So what do you know about Rigoberto? Could you please tell us? Oh, he lived in, in San Salvador. And he didn't used to play, uh, he didn't used to play any sport when, when he was a kid. Okay. It's <laughs> strange for me, I don't know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and and he uh, uh, he works in the marketing. Okay. And I don't know <laughs> only that. Okay. Very well. Thank you very much for that. Uh, uh, who wants to be next? I want, I want to be next. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. That's right. You, you. <laughs> Me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, I was talking with Cecilia and um, well, um, I know now that uh, she used to live near the beach and now she continue living really, really close to the beach. Good. So it's really nice. <laughs> We're going to visit you. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> And um, also, uh, she told me that uh, she used to uh, to eat a lot of fries when she was a kid. And also, uh, uh, she didn't used to cook when she was a teenager. She learned how to cook uh, really uh, recently. Not not when she was a teenager. Okay. I was, uh, she learned how to cook um, a few years ago okay. or a few times. And that is why I learned about her. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Mauricio, now is your time. Yes, I had to talk with Luis. Okay. And yes. And he used to he used to practice karate uh, when he was a young a younger man. Okay. And he he used to he used to, no, he used to practice uh, how do you say cyclism? Bicycle. Bicycle. Uh, he used to bicycle. And he used, he used to practice karate. This is very interesting. Uh -huh. Very good. Very interesting. And that finished. I, I, I don't remember more. Okay. But, perfect. Uh, <laughs> okay. Thanks, please. And thanks for. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Mauricio. Who wants to be next? Okay. Uh, it's my turn. Okay. I talked with Mauricio, and Mauricio, when he was a, a kid, 
uh, or he practices in many sports. Actually, Mauricio used to practice kickboxing. And, uh, Mauricio studied in a national university. Okay. And, and only that, because it's the time for the other classmate. Okay, thank you very much, Luis. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to be next? Um, me. Go ahead, Ray. Uh, I talk. I talk uh, to Carlos. Uh, Carlos Emilio. And he told me that when he was a child, he used to play soccer and go camping with with his friends, and only that. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Who wants to be next? I wanna be the next. Go ahead, please. I was talking with Oli, and she used to be a good student, and. She didn't like basketball, but I don't know why she used to play, she used to to play basketball when she was young. Um, she she work at Telefonica right now. Uh, that's all the information that I have. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you, Jose. <laughs> okay, who's next? Um, me, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, um, I know about um, Patricia, and she told me that he, she used to play basketball in the school, and also she used to go to the beach with her family just in December. Okay. Just in holiday. Yeah. Nice. That's all. Okay, thank you, Cecilia. Okay. Who's next? Somebody? Oli. I am a lipe. Okay. <laughs> You're tired. Yeah, it's I very was, um, I asking, as, no, I am speaking, uh, Jose. I, uh, he is business, um, the family, um, mm, eh, say, um, business, um, Moringa, okay, as, um, work, um, vitamin, um, a symptom, okay, um, that see, um, as I study, a uh, marketing. Ah, he says a lot. Okay. Um, that's it. Okay. Thank you, Oli. Okay. Who's next? Hello. Hello, Jason. Yeah. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. I I talk with Andrea. Okay. Actually, we don't talk too much. We didn't talk too much about the topic. It's okay. used to just practice English, but some question that I did was, uh, for example, um, did she used to, did she used to play so, um, softball when she was a, a child? And she said she used to do, she used to do it. And Actually, I don't remember any, any more questions. Just we're talking and talking, but okay. in English always. Oh, Sorry. Of course, that's what we're here. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Who wants to be next? Uh, me. Okay. I spoke with Yosemi, and and she used to have many toys, uh, many Barbies, and I don't remember more because talk about the this topic no comprendía mucho y él me explicó ah ok perfecto if you have questions you can ask uh, siempre me pueden preguntar y también después de la clase en el chat me pueden escribir directamente o me pueden escribir el grupo whatever you want y hasta nos podemos conectar un rato si quieren para platicar 
Okay, uh, let's see who's next. Faltan algunos. Hi. Okay. Carlos Contreras and Miguel, presente. <laughs> okay. I was talking with Felix. Uh, we we were talking about the structure of question because we have some problems, but uh, Felix told me told me uh, he didn't used to go to the beach because he don't like it, and that's all. Okay, very well. Thank you, Felix. Se durmió. Félix. No, no hay preguntas, Félix. Uh, perdimos. <laughs> okay, um, thank you. Voy. Okay, go ahead, Carlos. Este, Bárbaro, Carlitos. Ya decía yo. <laughs> um, I, I speak with uh, Roger Jiménez and he uh, ask me if he uh, play soccer when I was little. Uh, and answer that if I play soccer when I was young and I am ready, right? And right now. Okay. Okay, perfect, thank you. Um, I guess there are missing just a few more people. Let's see, Felix. Luis, no sé si ya dijo Luis. Luis. Uh, I, I talk about Mauricio. Ah, okay, yes, it's true. And Mauricio is a kickboxing. Really? <laughs> And that is it. No, eh, yes, yes. Eh, I, I, I spoke about Mauricio. Mm. Eh, what do you say before the other eh, 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 compañeros? Classmates. Ah, yes, it's true. Classmates. Okay, perfect. Who else is missing? Um, Antonio is missing. Okay. Uh, Hello everybody. I talked with Hi. teacher Eric and he told me he didn't used to put excuses when he couldn't carry the homeworks. And he used to go to the beach and to rivers when he was in vacation. And he used to play Arranca Cebolla when he was a child. <laughs> and he had been in Germany and I think that's what's all that I ask you. Okay, thank you. Um, everybody finished, right? I guess uh, nobody's missing. Yeah, I guess everybody's done. So, my friends, um, any question before we finish? Uh, I have a, a question. Go ahead. About the use... Uh, the verb to be mm -hmm. and used to mm -hmm. and get and used to it the the um, the action when you use two topic is it the action uh, begin in the past in continue mm, depends let me just uh, tell you like a few examples so for example when you are talking with the verb to be uh, and used to uh, is because right now he's used to do something so he has like an habit or if you use negative for example if you say uh, she is not used to um, cook every day that means that she doesn't have the habit she doesn't like it very much so this is uh, when you use the verb to be something that is going on at this moment and it's an habit and that you uh, created that habit maybe in the past, but it continues happening. When you use get used to, it's because you need to 
or you want to get an habit. So uh, you don't have it yet, but you would like to create an habit. Okay. There is a rooster. Over I got there. it. I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need to study a little more. <laughs> well, uh, in the story, I think. Okay. Very well. Uh, yeah. Yo les traigo a veces tópicos un poquito diferentes para que vayan complementando, ¿verdad? Pero igual lo de la plataforma es lo que tenemos que ir avanzando. A veces hay cosas un poquito más avanzadas para que vayamos dándole un vistazo, pero eso también se va a ver más adelante, ¿verdad? Ya cuando llegue okay. va a decir, ah, esto es aquello, ya, sí, ya me lo puedo, ¿verdad? Ya no pasó nada. <risa> <risa> Any other question? Si tienen preguntas, dudas, y si no te ven en el chat, please. No, other Hoy questions. vamos hasta las 12, así es que aprovechen. Yeah, of course. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my friends. <laughs> so it was a pleasure to be with you. Um, have a good night. Rest very Perfect. well. And see you tomorrow. Thanks. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Good night. 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 Good night.